Hi brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel, my brother and sister. I alluded to this yesterday in the video I released where I said the Lord has just been giving me amazing, amazing dreams. And I just want to share one of these dreams with you today. And the message behind this, uh, this video is that it's going to be different with you. It's going to be different with you. Where the Lord is taking you is going to be totally different heights. The Lord is about to elevate you to completely different heights. But it's not just different heights. This is a new thing that the Lord is going to be doing. This is something that others have not seen. This is something that ears has, have not heard. It is going to be different with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyway, so in this dream, we are somewhere, it's a group of people, and we are at what felt like a boot camp. Now, in this dream, we were doing different activities and there was like a helicopter parked at a nearby distance and people, one by one, would get a chance to go into the helicopter and they were taking pictures. So, as much as I wasn't paying attention to it, I noticed that people were getting a chance to go to the helicopter. And it's like they were taking pictures in the helicopter, right? The dream then goes on and it's my turn to get into the helicopter. Remember this helicopter is just sitting there. It's, it's not taking off or flying. So when it's, it was my turn to get into the helicopter, I was sitting in the helicopter. So I said, there's, um, is it a, the pilot? And the door, the entry, to the to to the helicopter was open and there was a man sitting there facing the outside this helicopter then with me started to take off and go up it then went all around and in this dream it was flying higher and higher and higher and i was just hanging on to the arm um, thing and admiring this scenery and I remember in the dream saying, this is the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. It was just beautiful. It was just going around, showing me this land from a higher elevation. And then there was a point. Remember, the door is still open. That man is still sitting by the door, holding on to both sides and as if keeping guard at the door. And then um, as it was flying, it hovered over an area where there was people and the pilot descended. So he went so low that um, I was able to see the person down. That's how low it was. I was able to see this person's detailed face. So they were admiring looking up, but I was also looking down. But it was so low that I could see the details of their face. Like it was like, wow, the pilot really flew low, almost as if he was about to land. But no, he was, it was just like I had the view from up there and I was taken very low to see the view even close up, zoomed up view of inland. And the dream ended all right now let's go back to the fact that I was with people uh, but when it came to my turn um, the helicopter took off my brother and sister um, I mean we could even talk about the the, 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 the the platform I think what the Lord was telling me was be, continue to be yourself continue to be you don't try and do what others are doing because your anointing is different so I don't know who I'm talking to right now I don't know what position you are in whether this is um, applying to your workplace whether this is applying whichever area of your life where the Lord has put you in don't try to blend in with the crowd don't try and do things as other people are doing why you because you have been put in that place and God himself will pick you out of the crowd yes when you are uh, in this herd with other people it looks like it's just people who are doing the same thing but God says because I put you there no you didn't go into this thing to go and be a copycat you didn't go into this thing because it's fashionable you didn't go into this thing because it is where uh, the, it's, it, it's the next catchy thing he says you your experience will be different 
and your elevation when it comes to your time remember i said i watched other people go into the uh, into that helicopter but it never moved but the lord says when it comes to your time right now you are watching other people go into that helicopter your turn hasn't come yet you are sitting waiting patiently for your breakthrough i don't know if you are somebody who is doing in fashion i don't know why i i my my, my spirit took me to somebody who has started some form of a clothing line i don't know if you are that person and it's not taking off your 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 your, your work is not being recognized the lord says keep doing the vision that i gave you keep doing it the way that i i i, I showed it to you don't compromise because when your turn comes when your turn comes that's divine timing god's timing i will take you to a different height not only will you be known you will be known everywhere you will be taken to new heights and you will get to you will get to see why the lord needed you to wait for that time in the mighty name of jesus and he reassures that when your time comes you will have what protection you will have what companionship and you will have what that um you'll be guarded in the mighty name of jesus and when i i'm going to give my interpretation of the dream what it means to me when i woke up from this dream uh, i knew that he, the lord was saying to me that he was going to take this ministry to new heights in the sense that um because i rely on the lord to give me the dreams to give me the interpretations he would give me uh, the view the insight the yeah like like flying high just taking the the, the ministry to, to to higher heights so that i have a a broader view of how the spirit world and this world operate but not only that that he was going to be more specific more detailed hence um the the helicopter was able to go down and zoom into the details of the inland situations right so for me i i i understood this to to be talking about the ministry the one thing i want to talk about while inside the helicopter was that um the man who was the door of the helicopter as much as it was flying up and down and stuff it was open but i never felt um like i was in danger if when it was doing its maneuvers i never felt like it was i was in, in danger why because uh, that man who was sitting there even though i couldn't see his face remember his back was turned he was holding both sides both sides of the open doorway as if to keep guard you know uh, nothing could go in and I also couldn't fall out. It was like he was there to keep guard for me, to protect me, to ensure that nothing comes in to come and um, to, to put me in danger. And also I couldn't fall out. I translated that as um, being guarded, being protected, because when you get to deal with things of the spirit world, what happens is that, you, you know, you can, you, you can get, it's honestly not fun, especially the spiritual warfares and, and all that stuff. Just anything that involves having to, to cross over to the other side um, can be dangerous to a mortal. So that meant being there to me was a security that the Lord has put reinforcement to make sure that you are protected in this elevation between the two worlds, the spirit world and this earthly plane. So my brother and sister, I just want to go back to this verse that the Lord gave me with regards to this dream. And truly this encompasses this dream very well. This is 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2 verses 9 to 13. I'm going to put it up on the screen and it says, but just as it is written, things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard and which have not entered the heart of men all that God has prepared for those who love him for to us God revealed them through the spirit for the spirit searches all things even the depth of God for who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him even so, the thoughts of God, no one knows except the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, 
so that we may know the things freely given to us by God, which things we also speak not in words taught by human wisdom, but in those taught by the Spirit, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual worlds. My brother and sister, I think this verse encompasses everything that I keep talking to you about. For those people on this channel, I keep saying, have an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit and God will take you to new heights. Whichever area of your life, your workplace, anything, have an intimate with the Holy Spirit because that spirit of truth will reveal things to you that nobody else can reveal to you. Things about the future, you will be forewarned in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother and sister, your turn will come to go into that helicopter. And when it does happen, ears have not heard and eyes have not seen where the Lord is about to take you. Keep being you, keep being authentic. Don't try and do what is trendy. Don't try and do uh, the, the next um, catchy thing. Stay true to what the Spirit of God is telling you. Stay true to the vision that God gave you about this place where he has planted you. And trust me, when you get to that place, when you get to that place and you get to that time when it's your turn, the world is going to marvel and watch you like those people who were in the dream marveling as that helicopter was flying, hovering about in the mighty name of Jesus. The world is about to know who you are. The world is about to know who you are. All these things I say in the mighty, mighty name of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen.